Hey, what is up guys? This is just to let you know that the next reaction which I was about to upload, which was Baby Metal Road of Resistance, uh, live in Japan, that one has been blocked. So I've just gone to upload it, and you have that sickening feeling after... I don't know how many hours goes into each of these videos. You know, if you think about recording it, uh, taking the recommendation in the first place, recording it, editing, all that stuff. I mean, it's hours and hours. And just to see it get blocked is heartbreaking, especially because it was such a fun one. A lot of blast beats, a lot of double kick, and it's just a real juxtaposition. That might be the first time I've ever used the word juxtaposition. Ju The first and only time I've used the word juxtaposition in the wild. I've never, I've never used that word before. Go me. That was a really fun one. I had a little bit more of an idea about baby metal by that point. So yeah, unfortunately it's blocked. Blocked videos are available to the patrons and also the buy me a coffee supporters. So uh, I don't, expect any support through those um, different platforms but if you did want to support the channel five dollars uh, goes towards just uh, the upkeep of the channel and maintenance and gear and whatnot and um, yeah you get access to the blocked videos I've just been down I've just had the swab COVID test up the nose um, so yeah, it's been a rather unpleasant 10 minutes. When I when I left the house, I saw copyright blocked. Damn. And then I had to race off and get a COVID test. So yeah, uh, but that's, that's just the way it is. That's how I've run things. So yes, unfortunately, Baby Metal, Road of Resistance blocked. Available for the Patreon. Buy me a coffee, cruise. I hope you do get to check it out. It was a really fun one. Until the next one, guys. Catch ya. Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. We're back with some more baby metal. This time, Road of Resistance live in Japan. Now, I do believe this was probably the one that got requested the most after the previous baby metal one that I did, which was Rondo of Nightmare. That was live at Budokan Black Knight. And that was the very first time that I've heard baby metal. So look, complete honesty, I'm still not 100% sure what I'm listening to here. This is all uh, very strange and exciting and new for me. So I'm doing my best. I'm dipping my toes. I'm relying on you guys in the comment section, really, to uh, educate me. Tell me all about Baby Metal and which songs I should check out from them next. Oh, and really important, and uh, it looks like I missed doing this last time. Please go ahead, subscribe, like, support the original artist. Original video link in the description of my videos. Every time, I'll always include the original video link. And... um. Yeah, please do the same if you enjoy my channel and you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button and commenting. And with that said, let's check out a little bit more of this group, Baby Metal. Let's hit it. I bet you that mosh pit, that crazy circle that was going on, <laughs> that whirlpool in the crowd, I bet you at this gig, in Japan, that will be the most polite and controlled uh, group of people as well. I mean, it, it's it's really interesting because a lot of the hardcore music, you know, I, I've always just find those people are just so nice. It feels like they're almost getting a lot of their, they're exercising a lot of their demons through the music and they end up just being really... Uh, calm and comfortable people to be around and really nice so a lot of those situations can be a lot more um, I don't know it's like we're in this together we're having fun we're expressing ourselves and jumping around as opposed to like a big 
fight. I'm I'm sure some gigs are like that. I guess some of the hardcore punk gigs, especially back in the day, were a bit more like that, a bit more aggression. Knowing, uh, you know, metal fans, the, as I do now, and uh, knowing how nice Japanese people are, I'm sure this is probably the nicest mosh pit you could ever get into in your life. You know what? When, I, when not if, when I make it to a baby metal gig, I'm going to jump in there. I'm not a mosh pit guy, but I'm going to be in there. You know, this episode is brought to you by the word juxtaposition. And I think it really is, you know, we've got all these contrasting, conflicting things. There could be a little bit of, uh, there could be a little bit more to it with sort of cultural Japanese stuff as well. But it's just really interesting to have this, uh, of these young singers um, and not afraid to sing in that poppy, almost like little girl style with the extreme heavy music and then combine that with the extra layer of the you know almost over the top stage show with the fireworks and the lights and the lasers where it's just like that was also quite poppy but the imagery was quite dark and um, almost gothic-y sort of horror on the metal side as well so the whole thing just super interesting oh and the choreographed dance moves also pushes it sort of towards that pop thing as well where ultimately it's just very listenable i mean i don't know what they're saying i haven't looked into any of the words or translation of the words uh, but it is very listenable and it's just so fun i mean again it's the kind of gig i would love to go to and experience remember guys original video links are always in the description of my video so you can watch that go along support the original artist and um, watch the video without me talking all over it. Remember, you can pick up your free 30-day trial with Drumio. Link in the description. You get to learn off the world's best drummers, free transcriptions, free coaching. It's just all there. No brainer. Pick it up. And be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button on this video and leave me a comment with what you thought of the video or what you would like me to get to in the future. Thank you for watching. And until next time, ciao.